Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Paper and Moose. The sun is starting to set. I need to get out there and see what garbage, trash, curbside treasures are available today for today's trash picking. I go around one of the local towns and I see what people put out for trash that is actually treasure that I can either resell or that I can save for myself because you never know what you're going to find in the trash. So speaking of trash, let's get out there before the sun completely sets and see if we can find anything good left out on the curb today. So first stop of the day, we'll see what this is down here. Well, obviously it's a grandfather clock. But is it old? That's actually pretty nice, but I have no room for it. It's not super old. This is probably from the 80s. And who knows if it needs work, but it's a shame. I don't even know if grandfather clocks are big now, but hopefully someone else will come along and claim it. There is another pile all the way down there. So we're gonna check that pile out. Oh geez, someone's yelling. Is that a shredder? We're gonna take this shredder. I don't know if it works or not, but there's one way to find out. I spy some stuff here. What are these? Are these beanbag toss boards? Oh, it's a seal. Ugh, they're so warped because they've been out. Mm. They're cute though. That's all warped. I'm gonna have to leave them. Look at that. What a shame. Too bad. A broken chair and pizza boxes. Nothing there. So, what is here? Oh boy. How heavy is this sucker? <sighs> That's interesting. Lakewood. Moldy fan. And old mop. Darn it. This would be good for a scrapper. I can't put that in my car though. Oh. I'll let Taco Stacks know that this is here, and hopefully by the time he comes here, um, he can pick it up. Because I don't know who else is taking that. Too bad that wasn't like an old wooden one. That would have been cool. Darn it. So, this might be my last stop. I don't know if you can see. I thought this was metal. It's an old, old dirt. Ugh, it's moldy, and my gloves are in the car. Oh, there's a vacuum cleaner. Storage hassocks by Per. Oh, look at that mold. Ooh. That's a pretty neat vacuum cleaner, but. I think we're gonna leave it. I don't know what scrap value is in there. That's been in the attic for, or basement for a while. Too bad this hassock wasn't in nice condition. That'd be pretty cool. So when all else fails with garbage picking, you go to the thrift store and see what you can thrift. Hey, customers. Hey, customers. 
This is all the same stuff from last time. Has not moved at all. Frying pans are still here. He's catchy. I think that's a corn cob holder? Corn on the cob holder? A lot of this stuff is just all the same. From last time. We've got to move things out. I feel like these are still here. No one wants these things. <laughs> the Christmas section is pretty bad. Oh. 474? That's in bad condition though. are gone. They did have Mickey's here. Lots of bag items. Clowns. Everyone loves clowns, don't they? Oh, I thought that was Rainbow Bright. A dog for a second. Pokemon. Mega Disco Radio. Oh, there's those old caterpillars. No, that's not a caterpillar. So. Ninny. Ninny Nana. $8.98. I don't know how they expect to move these things with those prices. Oh, look at this Kermit. He's nice. He's not older though. He's a pretty nice Kermit. Cabbage Batch. Those Koozes are probably still here. What's this doll? Nope. That doll, yep, those Koozes are still here. They'll never find a home. Oof. Look at his nose. Knickerbocker. Does he still talk? He can't. If he does. Oh my gosh. Let's see. We'll hold him. <laughs> hmm. I might look him up. He's in rough shape though. There's a Mickey, oh jeez, uh, Avalanche. <sighs> He's nice, 1818. 34. Expensive, expensive. So garbage picking in this town isn't really ever successful, but I still go out every now and then just in case. It is the town where I found that older chest a couple months ago that had the Star Wars figures in it. I picked up little things here and there, but I don't know. You, you just never know what you're going to find, so that's why you still want to go out. There were some neat items tonight. Uh, 
the mold and the size kept me away. I did pick up this paper shredder. It looks a little bit dusty. I actually have some mail to shred, to try and shred. So the question is, will it work? Let's find out. Let's hope that you know, we don't, nothing explodes or anything. Alrighty. Here we go. Because it looks, I mean. Oh, there's paper in there already. Yikes. All right, let's try it again. Let's see. It works. It does work. It's just, <laughs> it's rather noisy. But I think if the blades, it looks like there's a lot of paper stuck in there. So maybe if you do that reverse button, it usually will shoot out the top. And then I can use it, but you know, paper shredders, I get lots of junk mail, so I can just shred it. So not a bad find. I mean a free shredder. Why not, as I say? Um the let's move that off to the side. The um clock, the grandfather clock. That wasn't an old one. If that would have been an antique grandfather clock, I would have found a way to put that in my car. But that seemed like one that was made during the 80s or 90s. I think during that time period, grandfather clocks were, they were wanted in the home. That one was nice because it was slim and probably wasn't so heavy, but you know, what's the market for a 1980s, 1990s grandfather clock? How many people really even, use them or have them anymore unless they got them from their parents or grandparents. But hopefully some other picker will come along and have a perfect place for that clock. That big tiller disc thing. If that would have been wooden, that would have went also in my car. I don't even know if that would have fit because I think if I would have put it on the side, the handles would have still, or the arms would have been too high. And I'm not sure if that would have fit inside my trunk, but we got a paper shredder out of the deal. I did go to the thrift store, <laughs> nothing. That thrift store has not been very good lately. Again, I'm there later in the evening. I'm not there first thing in the morning, but a lot of stuff has been sitting there for months. Prices still, I don't understand why they price things the way that they do. But hey, it's a thrift store. You still go to them just in case that one thing could have been overlooked. And that's pretty much the name of the game with picking. Whether it's estate sales, rummage sales, thrift stores, even garbage picking. You never know what you're going to find and you never know when you're going to find it. You just gotta keep looking. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep looking, keep going to those sales, keep going out for trash picking and seeing what we can find that people put out on the curbs. Tonight, a paper shredder. The next night, the next trash picking time, who knows, but be sure to stay tuned to find out. Hopefully it will be a more successful trash picking curbside treasure finding episode when that does happen. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little episode, trash picking, thrift store going, and you know, Stay tuned for more adventures, as I like to say, with Paper and Moose, with me, Renee, or Pam, as many of you refer to me as. So, hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to stay tuned for more adventures, and hope you all have a great day. See you all next time.